Hey guys, good morning. I wanted to share with you something we bought yesterday at Sam's Club and I just had some eggs for breakfast and I put this on it. It's the fresh cilantro salsa. They had regular fresh salsa as well. It was in the, obviously the cold section. And this one is the mild one. It was really good. It's five calories for two, yeah, for two tablespoons. Everly's going down for a nap. And it was so good on my eggs, so good. If you like fresh, like, salsa, that one's a winner. I gotta get myself together and get my life together. Tomorrow's March 1st, so we are doing a Peloton ride. I haven't been on the bike in weeks. Here we go. So I finished up my workout, felt really good. I was super sluggish before and I felt pretty good after. So um, washed my hair and stuff and got about my day. So I am scanning in my receipts. We only have two things that I can't figure out what to do with from yesterday. The moon pies and the pudding. The pudding doesn't fit in the girls' little snack fridge. So I'm gonna put a few of them out and just probably set them on the shelf outside. It's still pretty cool enough that None of the food um, should go bad. But I'm scanning my receipts into fetch rewards. I got 343 points. Why is it so, there we go. 343 at Sam's Club. So that's pretty exciting. Just for. <laughs> and that was just for shopping, just in general. Like I didn't buy anything fancy. I'll leave my fetch rewards link down below. It gives you $2 for free, 2,000 free points when you sign up using it. It's a free app. Literally all you do is scan all of your receipts, every single one of them from anywhere. And it gives you points back. So I'm gonna do my Costco. You can even do uh, link it to your Amazon account and your email and it'll give you points back like that as well. So super excited. Um, I'm about to go pick up the girls from my mom's house. She wanted me to wait until Everly woke up from her nap. And Everly is now awake. So yeah, we're putting on some Mississippi pot roast tonight for dinner, which is gonna be super good. We had the beef and, and all the seasoning and stuff for it and the leftover pepperoncinis. So that was cool, that was an easy dinner that everybody loved last time. We have a big bag of russet potatoes and I have potato flakes. You can put it over rice, so good. I'm looking forward to that. So yeah, I'm just gonna scan in my receipts and then that way I can file them away. I'm at a different Costco and look, these are the things that they're sold out of and that have limits. Came over here to see if they had the weight set. And the rest wanted that yesterday at the other Costco and they were sold out by the time we were checking out. So I came over here to see if they have it and then to try and get my rewards. So here we go. Then we're gonna go get him a pair of shoes because he needs some shoes and he wants to get these ASICs from some specialty store. So we'll see what they have. These are the weight sets that we were looking at that they're on sale for $2.99. It's a really great deal for all these weights. I think it goes up to 30, yeah. So it has a 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and a 30. Man, they have a bunch here. They were all sold out at the other Costco. So two things, the girls are watching Coco, so you probably will hear it in the background. Uh, second, these Vita Rain Zeros, super good. I. They're really good. I wish we bought two cases, like one for the fridge and one for backup, because they're really good. Actually, I could call him and tell him to buy one. Oh, I'm gonna do that. His weights were way too heavy for me, and I didn't see anybody anywhere around. So he was like, I'll ask one of the guys here and see if they can help, because I don't want him lifting the whole thing. It's in multiple boxes, so that's good, so it's not all the weight at once, but I still don't want him lifting it all, so. They had to write me a check. It took a few minutes. They had to write me a check for my rewards because they said it was over the limit. She was like, oh, everybody's reward rewards comes in February. And so we just ran out of cash. And there was a guy right behind me and he was like, no, no, they should give us cash. Because I told him, I said, they should just start mailing us a check, like everybody, instead of making you come to the store and like scan your rewards or whatever. And he's like, yeah, I know. He's like, I feel like they gave 
us cash last year and his amount was twice as much as mine. And I was just like, what the heck? Like he must use his card for business or something because I'm like, we spend, I mean, quite a bit of money every single month to get the rewards that we get. We literally use it for everything. Like when we travel and everything and I like our rewards paid and a little bit over for our Costco haul and that was $1,200. So he had almost 3,000. It was crazy. I'm just like, you have to turn over your card balance so much to get $3,000 or I think it was like, I don't even know, 27 something. But I'm like, you have to turn over your card so many times to get 27, $2,800 in rewards. That's like insane to me. I mean, I feel like I said, ours is super big probably higher than the average person and I just was super shocked uh, but yeah I don't know I don't know, maybe he owns his own business or something that's cool to get a free $2,700 just for using the card I hope he doesn't let it revolve because then like I said yesterday that defeats a purpose but anyway so we're getting um, the weight set. Yeah, he's been wanting a weight set. And when the pandemic first hit, we weren't able to find anything. Weights were even scarce because people were working out at home and stuff. And we really just want to create our own little home gym. We got the Echelon bike. We already have a treadmill. We have a few loose weights. <laughs> we have a few loose weights, but nothing, nothing crazy. I have one pounds, five I think we have 10s and 15, right? Yes. Right, that's what we have. Yeah. yeah, I don't, so these go up to 30 and they're stacked. So we're gonna create a little space in the garage since we can't really park in the garage anyway. I have the workout stuff in my office, but and we may even put it there. I don't know, I need to ask him. Our bench, our weight bench is in the garage. So anyway, now that he's been cleared for months to really work out, he really wants to get back into it. and. We're just, even getting our COVID vaccines, just not super comfortable going to the gym. So he's considering it, but I'm not comfortable. And I don't want to work out in a mask. That just seems torturous. Even just like being in a mask all day for work or for grocery shopping or whatever, it's just such torture. <laughs> so I don't want to work out in one. That's even worse. And I get used to the mask, but I just feel like when you're huffing and puffing and like that condensation buildup in the mask is just, nah. Not good. Oh look, he's calling. I can tell him to pick up more. Hello? Oh baby, you want to pick up another one of the Vitarain? The the drinks that we have right now? Since we like yeah. them? Sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. So use uh, the paper towels and, and the drinks, right? Yes, please. Uh, okay. Get in a minute. You find your weights? Yes, I find them. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right, see you in a bit. Okay, love you. Love you too. Love you. Bye. Bye. Yay, that worked out perfectly. So anyway, yeah, like I said, um, he wants these ASICs that are supposed to be good for, he has pretty high arches and if he's not wearing, he had these Mizunos, I think is what they're called. They're just super old, but he loved them. They were comfortable and they just started falling apart. So he needs something different. And I told him, I was like, we always get what we need because he didn't want to spend $160 on shoes, which I don't blame him, but I'm like, your feet are important as you get older. You know they're not, you're not gonna grow out of them or anything like that. And so, yeah, we're gonna go get those for him and then go home. And we have Mississippi pot roast in a uh, crock pot. That's what it's called. It's She's fun. never had pudding before. Is it good? <laughs> yeah, she's never. That was vanilla. She can have a little bit of yours. It's actually chocolate. Mmm. She's like, thank you, sissy. Oh, pudding is not my favorite, but the girls love it. They're so excited to have pudding. So this is kind of cool because it comes with uh, individual packs, so you don't have to like open them all at once. But anyway, was it good, Everly? Did you love it? Quickest bath of life. Literally was like one after another after another. It's so helpful when Andres is here because I don't have to do, I don't have to split them. I just literally bathe one after the other after the other. And of course, Emmy bathes herself. And um, Maddie just kind of 
takes after takes the bath on after like if it's if they're all bathing at the same time I should say they just all like I do the little girls and then Maddie jumps in here after and Emmy will go to the shower or vice versa depending on whether they want to take a bath and oh my gosh it's just so much easier I can literally get them all four of them done in 20 minutes or under and now I'm done got clothes laid out for tomorrow for them and now we have to blow dry hair they're about to well the little girls are about to go to bed still watching Coco <laughs> after they got done I'm going to check out this new vacuum oh, I was gonna do the girls room first I'm so excited to vacuum who's ever been this excited to get a new vacuum My legs are so sore. Literally, like, I feel like I, mm. and I don't know why. I don't even feel like I was this sore directly after the first time that I did the spin bike, but yeah, it's pretty bad. They're super, super sore. And it's just my thighs. And I didn't even do anything afterwards, so I don't know what the heck happened, but. Anyway, divvied out laundry. Can you see it? There, have laundry going, I actually have towels in the washer that need to go in the dryer i may try and do one more load and just stick them in the dryer before bed that way i have two loads to start off clean tomorrow i haven't done laundry in like what's today sunday i think since wednesday i haven't done any laundry so we have three loads and that includes everyone's towels sheets and our laundry and then i need to do the girls laundry this week luckily I don't really fold theirs they put it all away but I vacuumed upstairs <laughs> my camera battery died and my other battery was dead in my office so I had to wait for them to charge but I left this here so that I could show you guys how much dirt this extra vacuum picked up so this is the vacuum that we had it's an old-school Dyson um, I really don't even know like what model we actually bought it from a friend so Seriously, we've probably had this for like eight years, right? When you say that long, at least. And we bought it from her and she had it for I don't even know how long. So it still runs. I mean, it still sucks up stuff. I can tell from the canister, but it does not do a very good job of sucking up stuff. Clearly, because we just vacuumed Friday night, okay? A day and a half ago. Now this is a pretty small container, but one quick pass and this is what the new vacuum got up. Crazy, right? Like, I'm just like, what was this vacuum doing? I'm not exactly sure, which is why we've been needing a new one for quite some time now. And I just, we hadn't pulled the trigger Black Friday after Black Friday. And then when we saw this one, I knew I kind of wanted a shark. I wanted to sway away from Dyson. Even though Dyson's great, our cordless vacuum is Dyson. But I just, I felt like Shark was a pretty good brand. Our steam mop is a shark. And I love it. I have to say, it kind of hurt my arm a little bit because it has what feels like a motor or something in it that pulls it forward. I didn't even look at the box to see what it is or why it does that. But did you notice that when you vacuumed this rug last night? Uh -huh. That it like pulls it forward and you have to work to pull it back? You think? Anyway, it was hurting my arm after doing the entire, did all the girls rooms, the playroom and our bed, uh, the hallway and our bedroom. And it can do hard work, hard wood as well and also it's not super lightweight but it's like half the weight of this big daddy whenever I would bring this one downstairs it honestly was such a chore to bring it up or down the stairs this one is a lot easier so it's a lot more lightweight and just a little bit more compact and I mean like I said this was one pass so I'm curious if I do another pass like tomorrow what it will get up but I'm very excited it actually left vacuum lines on the carpet which this one stopped doing probably a year and a half two years ago right around the time when i was like okay if you don't have vacuum lines does it really count 
It's kind of like when you work out. If you forget to turn on your watch or your watch doesn't record your workout, does it count? No, in my opinion, no. If you don't see vacuum lines, you didn't vacuum. If you didn't turn on your watch or your watch didn't pick up your workout, you didn't work out. I know that's silly, but I know those of you that enjoy vacuum lines like I do really appreciate that aspect of it and that vacuum definitely did. And it was fairly, I mean, reasonably priced compared to the Dyson's are like $450, $500. This one was $200 at Costco, so not bad. Very excited for that. Also, I wanted to show you guys, I was gonna make my overnight oats, which I've never had before, but I'm curious about them. So we stopped at GNC and got this whey protein. It's a huge bucket. Uh, it was fairly reasonably priced as well. You say it was 55, baby? So it was a big, let's see, 5.13 pounds. And it's cookies and cream. It's two points per scoop. So I'm very excited to try it. I saw an overnight oats protein recipe. I've also seen protein pancakes like this, protein waffles with like actual protein powder. So I'm excited to give it a go. I've never, I wanted just like a vanilla one, but they didn't have it. They only had strawberry and cookies and cream. I definitely thought cookies and cream was a better option. So the overnight oats, the only problem is, is I don't have any glass jars and we didn't pick up any glass jars anywhere over this weekend. So I have my oats here. This is leftover from pouring, like filling up my container. I was gonna do a half a cup of oats, one scoop of protein and a cup of almond milk. And this is just unsweetened almond milk. And then tomorrow morning, I can't, I don't really like the soggy fruit in it. Tomorrow morning, I would have done like strawberries or blueberries or banana or maybe all three with some, I don't know, maybe slivered almonds or something on top or a drizzle of honey. That would have been really delicious as well. Or maybe you could put the honey in the overnight oats, but, and maybe with the cookies and cream, I wouldn't even need honey. I don't know, I have never tried it, <laughs> but I don't have any mason jars. So I need to get on getting some mason jars this week because I really would like to. And I have glass Tupperware, but I don't know if it's the same. I don't know too much about overnight oats, so if you guys have a really great recipe that you enjoy, let me know in the comments below. I know I was messaging with a couple of you about overnight oats, and I just don't know about cold oatmeal, so I don't know that I'm going to love this, but we both wanna try it, so we're willing to sacrifice for <laughs> at least to give it a shot. I just edited the vlog, so I'm about to sit down. I think we have a 90 day fiance, baby. So I'm gonna let the vlog upload and we are going to watch a guilty pleasure show. Okay, we found a glass jar. <laughs> it's actually the Tocito jar, but. What's that? Mm -hmm. Was that you, Lotita? That was weird. Um, but it's a glass jar. So I was already cleaning out and unfortunately we do not recycle glass here, which is super unfortunate. So I'm saving a jar from the trash can. So I'm gonna use, I decided to go with a third of a cup of oats because this one scoop has 24 grams of protein. That's quite a bit. So I'm gonna do a third of a cup of oats. Plus this is a small container, so I really, and I'm not sure if you're supposed to mix this up with your almond milk, but you know, we're just gonna dump it right on in and hope for the best. Shake up the almond milk, I think it's gonna be good. You think so? Mm. Yeah, I like the cookies and cream protein. Yeah. And we're gonna do about a cup. So, Maybe it's like a little under a cup. Do you think more? Does it need more liquid, you think, or? Mm, try to mix it. Mix it I don't know. I mean, it seems kind of watery. Should be fine, right? Yeah, I think so. I think it needs more oats. Mm, they're gonna spy, they're gonna it's spy. Get bigger. Yeah. Okay, well. There you have it, folks, overnight oats. We're gonna pop these babies in the fridge and see what they look like tomorrow because I've never done that. So a third of a cup of oats, a cup of almond milk, 
The cup of almond milk is zero points. A third of a cup, I think, is two points of oatmeal. I have to double check. And then one scoop of the protein is two points. So I would top it with some fruit tomorrow. And if it's not filling enough, then I would go up to a half a cup of oatmeal. But I think this is what you do, right? You just stick it in the fridge. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's strange, but... We're gonna check tomorrow and see how it goes. Look at all those carpet lines. It's like semi-new carpet. I'm so excited, <laughs> you guys have no idea.